So Dame Lillard just signed a a, a two year, one hundred and twenty million dollar contract. Hold on. Dame Lillard. Let me see this on here because I saw it on sideline sources on Instagram, but I want to see like the actual thing. So I'm looking it up. Dame Lillard two year. Agrees to a two year one hundred. It's one hundred and twenty, one hundred and twenty two. He will make at least forty two million in each of the next five seasons. I thought it's a two year. What are they? Any so two year two hundred and twenty million. So he's making what in two years? How many? Just, I'm not a mathematician, but two years one hundred and twenty million, sixty something or sixty exact million a year. He getting the money. You can't knock him. You can't say nothing to him. He's getting all his. He getting that money. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to do. I can't knock him. Will they win? I highly doubt it, though. I'm gonna be and I like Dame Lillard. I watch his highlights all the time. I watch his interviews. I feel like his approach to the NBA was is so well respected. Should go down in history. Like just how he came from Weber State. His mindset. His practice. You know. Oh. You know, they used to just double me out there. So they was like, we have to get you to the point where you can get a clean shot. And the clean shot, sometimes when you're wide open, nobody's guarding you from five feet behind the three-point line. So I'm just going to start practicing these shots, and when I, and then I'm making it. Now they have to come up on me, and then I go by him. I watch his interviews, so I know he said that. So anyways, I'm that's actually, you know, he's getting him. You can't knock him for getting money. But... I think he talks about loyalty a whole lot. And I want to talk to y'all about this word loyalty. There's no such thing as loyalty in the, in the NBA. It's a business. Maybe back then, you know, because everybody tries to throw in, you know, oh, look at him. He done left his team. Woo, woo, woo. It's a business. Use Isaiah Thomas, for example. That man was, that. The, you think they said we want our this player that's 5'9 to be our franchise player? Like a player like AI don't come around. AI was still six foot six six foot six one, hundred and sixty five pounds. Probably he could still dunk. AI play like a big man. You think you think these owners? You they got rid of Isaiah Thomas, bro. He had, after a career year, they got rid of him. Remember that your injuries played a part, and we can get Kyrie Irving. Where was the loyalty name, bro? My man's his sister literally died. His sister passed away. Went out there and gave and, and gave the opposing team fifty three. Where was the loyalty then? There was no loyalty. Players gotta stop throwing out this loyalty thing and then low key, not shaming other players that leave who've been in these terrible organizations. They're not doing nothing for me. Like bro, bring in some horses. I'm doing what I can. I'm not perfect. Obviously, my play could be better, but I'm not perfect. Dame and Dame, just you're fortunate enough that. The trailblazers look at you as like a like as they should, but you're you're fortunate enough that you haven't been on that on that tail end yet to the where they're looking at getting rid of you. To where these two max players that are better players than you are coming here. Granted, Steph Curry is never gonna lead the Warriors. The point guards that they would probably put ahead of you aren't gonna leave their team. So you're in a very, very fortunate position. But at the same time, you gotta understand, you like he put the picture with Kevin Durant. And I can say this is no slander, but you, I'm just being honest, bro. We just be honest on here. You put the picture with Kevin Durant. You know what I mean? Coming to the, coming to your team, right? So you want Kevin? You would welcome Kevin Durant. Granted, you should, but only if he comes to you. You don't want to leave. You want him to come to you. You didn't. Technically, you didn't leave. But if you win. You can say you were loyal to the sick. I think the whole thing about this loyalty thing, people try to appease the people that don't matter. I'm not talking about just damn, I'm talking about people. like They try to appease the folks that do not matter, that aren't in your position. I want you to understand. Kobe was getting ready to leave the Lakers. He didn't leave because Shaq left. I mean, because Shaq got traded. If Shaq hadn't got traded, he would say, he, he, bro, go watch him and Kobe. I mean, go watch Kobe and Shaq's sit down. He literally said, I was looking for houses, schools, all that type of stuff in, in Chicago. He literally said that. But then, well, there goes Chicago. They just traded Shaq. They're not going to lose me and Shaq in the same year. He's getting ready to leave. If Shaq, if Shaq hadn't gotten traded, Kobe would not have been a Laker anymore. It's in the, it's in the interview. I don't even, I'm not making it up. It's in the interview. He said that. Shaq was like, so that was true. You was gonna you was gonna leave Lakers. You was gonna go to Chicago. Yeah, that's what he said. 
So we have to we have to really watch that loyalty work because it's a business. It's a business because y'all need to un bro, they, bro. They traded they traded Matt Bar not Matt Barnes they traded uh, Harrison Barnes in the, at halftime. I'm not Harrison Barnes obviously isn't the player like Dame or you know, but they traded him in at halftime, bro. Like they, tr I'm gonna keep saying they traded him. Like he had to see that on the big screen. Isaiah Thomas' sister literally died, and he still went out there and had 53. He gave it his all. Yes, he got hurt, but they said, well, shit, you know, we got Kyrie Irving come, he coming off for of three finals. You know, uh, he's hurt, and, uh, and uh, on top of that, I don't think we can, uh, I don't think I want my next franchise player to be five a 5'8 five, point guard in the NBA. When I can get this 6'5, five, a 5'8 five, point guard that's not known for playing defense. They got rid of him. You think Isaiah Thomas still brags on loyalty? You think he probably talked about loyalty B, but he just saw that wasn't that wasn't. Loyalty does not look this loyalty stuff, it only works if it goes two ways. Cause you can be you 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 in a relationship, right? If you're loyal to her or if she's loyal to him, but he's not loyal to her, her loyalty really does not matter. It matters for the simple fact she can say or he can say. I know I held it down. I know I did what I could. This person backstabbed me. Forget him. Move on. Right? That's the only sense where it can work. But other than that, that loyalty didn't mean anything because they weren't loyal to you. Loyalty goes two ways. Y'all talking about being loyal to these teams that aren't loyal to other players. They traded somebody at halftime, bro. They made the... It was a business move. Don't take it personal. Okay. I left to go win a championship because eight years I didn't gave the city my all, this organization my all. You traded away my second best player on my team. You traded away the second best player. You actually gave CJ McCollum a breathing room. You put him on a playoff berth team in the New Orleans Pelicans when they get Zion back probably. And then you got Brandon Ingram coming in his own. You got Josh Hart, a shooter. You put him on in a better situation. So let's talk about loyalty now. I'm trying to tell you this loyalty stuff, go this loyalty stuff, that, bro. Keep that word. Understand what that means. I got to pull it up right here too. Loyalty means where that shit go? Oh, faithfulness to faithfulness to commitments or obligations. Y'all. Oh. Uh, why are they, they still going on about that's another video coming uh, man let me go ahead and mute this because that's another video coming that's another video coming what i just got right there this how toxic the nba is but how toxic y'all make the nba but anyways yeah y'all need to we really gotta watch what we say with this loyalty stuff because this loyalty stuff goes deep like let's really talk about what loyalty is you have a let's think of another player Let's think of another. There's some other player, man. Oh my God, some so many other good players. There's no loyalty. They have to make business decisions. You think, you think, you think, Derrick Rose. They find they made a business decision. The Chicago Bulls, man. He ain't gonna be the same D Rose that won us that that won the MVP 2011. He ain't gonna be that same Derrick Rose that got us to the to the conference finals or to the semifinals, wherever they were. He ain't gonna be that same Derrick Rose. You know, we can get other play, we can get we can get other horses around us. He ain't I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all need to understand what this word what this loyalty thing is. Understand it. Cause loyalty, that goes both ways. It's a business. You have to make a business decision. So don't use that as a term to where other players aren't be oh everybody running from like if you literally switch teams seven times out of ten years because every time something don't go your way, then that's a different story. But other than if you then gave your all to a city to a team, how can you tell me I'm not loyal? How? Y'all making, I'm not loyal, y'all Y'all making decisions, I'm supposed to be your franchise player, y'all making decisions, not necessarily that concern me, but decisions, I'm your franchise player and I don't even know people are getting traded, I'm having to call coach, like, what's up, like, coach, why he get traded, we needed him, but, what, okay, 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 NBA is a business, 
It's not loyalty. Y'all get at me on the next video.